peptide access got worse, not better. What happened, RFK? You said you were going to end the war on peptides, homie. <laughs> the biohacking community thought 2025 was going to bring relief, deregulation, easier access. The adults were in charge now. Let me show you what actually happened. June, FBI raids on seven peptide companies in Florida. August, Novo Nordisk files 14 new lawsuits against compounders. September, the FDA sends 50 warning letters. And December 9th, Congress introduces legislation to attempt to permanently restrict compounding. That's not deregulation. That's freaking regulation and escalation. <laughs> Here's the uncomfortable truth that most people don't want to hear. Political promises don't override FDA enforcement structures. Big Pharma didn't spend billions on lobbying since 1999 just to have it undone by one appointee. The system is bigger than any individual. And right now, the system is actively shutting down the research peptide market. But does that mean it's gone forever? I don't know. But if your strategy was wait for the government to fix this, you're watching that strategy fail in real time. Follow us to stay informed and figure out real solutions to your health problems. We'll see you guys later.